What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to the Near Reincarnation video. Alright, well we got Near Day once again. They're hiding it behind the Halloween week or the Halloween update. I hope this is not all we're getting for Halloween, to be really honest here. I thought for Halloween we'd get something fun or maybe a new costume character. Something specifically just for Halloween. And it seems that they called the Near Day banner the Halloween bonus summoning banner. I'm not totally mad about this. I just hope there's something more coming as far as the Halloween update goes. Because if not, this is kind of going to be a boring Halloween update. I mean, we did just get Abyss Tower and we got a bunch of other stuff, but it doesn't fall in line with a Halloween update in my eyes. So we will be doing our monthly Near Day summons, of course. I save gems every single month just for Near Day, and you guys should be doing the exact same thing. No matter what characters are featured in this banner, even if both the characters are bad, you're still getting a free Ascension out of it. Essentially, it is free because if you save the gems from the events that you do during the month, you're not spending any real money inside the game. You're just farming the monthly events and then you're just bringing those gems to this banner, doing your summons and getting a free ascension. And the way I look at it is even if both these characters were terrible, which these two characters are not terrible, both of these characters are actually really decent characters in quest content. But even if they were complete trash, I would still summon on the banner just to get the free ascension. I have so many characters that I want to send at this point that I can't because I just can't get these Ascension books. I actually made an epic fail the other day and wasted an Ascension book on my regular Gale. And it's not that it's a waste, it's just that there's always so many banners that feature regular Gale. For example, these four star summoning tickets. I would have been able to max her out without using the book on her. I thought I was using the dupe that I had and it ended up being the book. Because I forget sometimes that you have to collect the dupes from the gift box. So make sure when you pull a dupe you collect it from the gift box before you go and do the Ascension. Otherwise you'll epic fail like I did. No big deal though, I got over it a couple hours later. It did sting at first though. So let's pull up the notices and see what's actually going on. So we'll see that Near Day campaign is on now. And that's basically tied into this Halloween bonus summons. When this bonus summons was added to the game on the 26th, it's actually kind of funny. It was locked behind a maintenance and you couldn't even summon on it until the 28th. And then once the 28th came around, we saw that it was Near Day campaign on now. So I'm not exactly sure why they did this. It does bother me just a little bit. Because it seems like they're trying to hide the Halloween behind Near Day. Basically doing both in the same banner. I just don't see why they can't give us a Halloween banner. It's not a big deal. Don't try to hide Near Day behind the Halloween summoning banner. That's just the way I look at it. No big deal though. I'm over it. Another thing that you guys really should be taking note of is the panel missions. Really, really important. If you click on it, it will pull this up on your screen. And these are really easy to clear. Me, I haven't done any of them yet. But I'm going to do them probably after this video to be honest. I started doing the XL weapon enhancements and basically just do all these missions really easy to do. Click on details, click on try, and it'll bring you straight over to the quest that you need to do. Go in there, do the quest, max them out. I don't know if that changes daily. I don't think so. I think it's just one fits all. Just do them all as quick as you can just in case it does change on maybe a daily or weekly basis. We did just get the new Abyss Tower. I'm going to try to do as much of this as I possibly can again and showcase my last couple of quests for you guys. This way you guys can see what team I'm using. The thing with Abyss Tower is, like you guys already know, these quests aren't one team fits all. You have to use specific costumes on each banner, making this really hard to get three stars on every quest. For example, Argo and the new Abstract Monster. Most of us probably won't have the Abstract Monster unless we did summons like me. I didn't do summons, so I'm definitely not going to have her. So I could use the three star version. Level it up as much as I can and try to clear it with that. Being that a stage one, I probably will be able to. But if she comes back around on the bottom stages, I'm going to be in big trouble because I won't be able to three-star these quests. Now, again, you don't need to three-star all of them. I believe you could be short 10 stars and still collect every single reward from the Abyss Tower. So you can miss stars here and there. So if you don't have a specific costume, don't feel too bad. Just do all the floors, see how many stars you're short, and then go back and try to fill in the blanks as you go to fill out the rest of the rewards. I would say the most important rewards, of course, is the Ascension book, and you only need to do 35 quest missions to get it. Of course you want this cube. The summons really aren't that important, guys. Yes, they're good to have. Your main goal in Abyss Tower should be to clear 35 quests so you can get the Ascension book. If you can get 40, excellent. If you can't, you can't. I mean, a cube is a cube, and of course we want as many as we can possibly get our hands on. But I think getting 35 quest missions is quite easy, and that's a chunk of these rewards. And getting these ascensions, I think, is the most important thing to take out of the Abyss Tower, especially as a newer player. Now, if you're an older player, obviously you want to be clearing this whole thing. But as a newer player, I would just try to get the 35 quests, and you can honestly walk away at that point. Honestly, I'm not sure why they put the summons on 50 and the cube on 40. 
because the cube and the ascension books are definitely the best thing in this abyss tower they're really rating the summons really high and i just don't think they're that high or as good as getting an ascension book or a cube at least that's the way i see it but i'm really glad that it is done this way because if it wasn't a lot of us wouldn't be able to get the ascension and the cube so happy they did it this way not sure why they did it this way but really good thing that they did other than that we really haven't gotten too much new stuff in here there's not really too much to talk about we did talk about subjugation in my last video but that's not active right now that's only going to be once a month so there's not really anything else going on so let's do our near day summons and see if we can't get lucky maybe get some more abstract no wells but with no further ado our first temple near days back i think our last near day we had insane summons so let's hope we can repeat those summons on our second near day no silver door that's a bad start i don't think we got a silver door last time either and then we ended up getting two or three purples it's always good to see a silver door but it really doesn't mean anything you could still get really good rng without getting a silver door so we got nothing from this we're gonna skip it let's just hope our three star goes to a four star maybe please let's see it near day nope didn't happen i have her maxed already you need 10,000 gems to finish out this banner and get your free ascension and walk away. We got something new. I didn't look, but we are getting a new four star. Let's see it. Is it going to be the Fractured Prisoner or maybe another Abstract Noel? Actually, it can't be an Abstract Noel because I already have one copy of her. And it wouldn't pop up in the corner because I already have the Epic Costume. The only way it pops up in the corner is if it's new. So this has to be a new character. So that's one good thing. So let's see what we got. Let's skip right on over to it. And we can still get upgraded from a 3-star to a 4-star. So this pull can actually end up being really good for us. Let's see it. Brand new character. Wait, no, it's not a new character. Or is it a new character? No, I didn't have the Abstract Gunman. I didn't have any copies of Demos. So this is a new character. I just shocked that the words didn't pop up on the screen. I definitely didn't have a 4-star Demos. Yeah, because it just unlocked the Abstract Gunman. I just don't understand why the words didn't pop up on the screen. Unless that only happens for certain characters, or maybe it doesn't happen on the near day banner, I'm not sure. But when I looked at it, I was like, wait a second, did I have Abstract Demos? But I definitely didn't have an Abstract Demos, because for the last Abyss Tower, I actually built a 3-star version of Demos to clear one of the quests to get my Ascension book. But Demos is a really good character, I probably won't build him anytime soon, because I have so many characters to build at this point. But happy to have him in my arsenal for Abyss Tower, because Abyss Tower is a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie, when it comes to having Pacific Costumes. Especially rare costumes like Demos and stuff that we don't pull for. Because a lot of us only pull on Pacific banners or certain collab banners. So having stuff like Argos and Demos. Not necessarily Argos because there's so many costumes of Argo. I think everybody will have at least one. But a lot of the Argo costumes are trash. So you don't want to just build up a trash costume just to clear one floor of Abyss Tower. But I know that the abstract Demos is really good. So I'm happy about that. We got another purple. We are blessed on Near Day. I think Near Day is some of my best summons. Let's keep it going. New costume. Let's see it. Or Abstract Noel. So we got a weapon. The funny thing is I do use this weapon on my A2 when I need to use a wind two-handed sword. So I'm really not mad about that at all because now I can bring that weapon. I think I can max it out now. I think that's the last copy I needed to max it out. Definitely happy about that because any four star that I can get that I'm currently using in the game, I will never be mad about getting it. If it progresses my account or helps me out in any way, I definitely won't be mad about it. It just hurts when you get something that you don't use or something that's completely garbage because we know how hard it is to get four stars already. So when you finally get that four star and then it's complete trash, it really, really burns the soul. Again, nothing too crazy, but I'll definitely take that two-handed wind sword. That's going to help me out a lot in the sub content and in the abyss tower. Happy to see it. We have a lot of summons to go, so let's just fly on through this. I think we still have like six or seven temples left. We've just been really lucky with the purples again. Near Day is a special day in Nier, that's for sure. Combined with the Halloween banner, we are just killing it. Nothing in that one, though. That was a complete dead pull. Let's do another one. I'm going to skip the ones that don't have purples, of course. There's no point in not skipping them. I don't need any three stars or two stars at this point. They are all complete garbage to me. My account is way past needing three stars. The only good thing about getting a three star is that it can be upgraded to a four star. We did get another purple. That's good. Love to see it. And it's on the first one, so we can skip the rest. Come on, something new. Ooh, another abstract. Demos. What are the chances? I can't even believe it. What are the chances of getting two Demos? I guess the best way to look at this is two is better than one. Being that I pulled one, I might as well have two, because now I can get the first Ascension. And now my Demos will actually be usable right off the bat. I didn't really want Demos, but now that I have him with an Ascension, I'll figure out some place to use him. 
But as far as the Abyss Tower goes, it's really good to have him because I was using the three-star version of him. And if Demos is on one of the later floors, using a three-star is just not good enough. I was getting crushed using three-star costumes. So at least now that I pulled him with an Ascension, I will definitely use him in the Abyss Tower. We got a three-star door and I saw something pop up on the screen. I don't look because I don't want to spoil the surprise. You guys will see it, but I don't look at it. So hopefully we get an Abstract Noel. That's really what I want out of this banner. If I had to pick any costume, it would be Abstract Noel. Or Abstract Monster if it's in the banner. I'm not sure if Abstract Monster is in this banner though. But let's see what we got. Come on, give it to me. Ooh, Abstract Assassin. That's new. I don't have her neither. Nier's just giving me all the new costumes today. Just giving me more stuff to build that I can't build that I won't have Ascensions for. Abstract Assassin is actually a good character. I don't see too many people using the Abstract Assassin. I think that's because most people didn't pull her or don't have her ascended. So a lot of people aren't using the Assassin. But we do know that all the Abstract characters in the game are good. So we'll never be mad about pulling an Abstract character. We did pull Demos and the Assassin. And we got a 3-star that went to a 4-star. I don't know if you guys saw that on the bottom. It went into a 4-star weapon. And the Sword of the Titan is so good for PvP content. And mine currently is level 70. So that will bring me to level 75. And then I just need one more to max it out. Really, really good temple. Brand new Assassin. The one thing I don't understand is why the words aren't popping up on the screen. I thought they edited to the game when you pull a new costume and those words pop up. Now, I don't know if that's for abstract characters. Maybe it's only for certain characters. But I'm really confused on why it's not doing that. Maybe they took it out of the game because there was some type of glitch or something. Maybe that's why the banner was in maintenance. But if you guys know why it's doing that, let me know down in the comments. I think we're done, though. The last temple was a, definitely a bust. So we didn't have enough to finish this. Why is it last time we were able to finish this and get a full ascension, but this time we didn't? Oh, this is giving us two ascensions this time. Okay, that makes sense. So now I understand why they mixed the Halloween and the Near Day in one. It makes sense now because last time Near Day was only one Ascension. And now because of Halloween, we're getting two Ascensions. So it's actually 20,000 gems you need to finish this and get both Ascensions. But getting two Ascension books out of this is huge. I will farm the rest of the gems up later to finish this. Let me see real quick what these missions give us in collections. We might get another temple. We're actually getting two more temples, enough to finish it. Because we got two new characters and we finished out their missions. So funny enough, now I can finish this off and we have just enough to finish it out. So let's keep going. I really want to get more copies of Abstract Noel. So come on, Nier. I know you've been really good to me, but hook me up with an Abstract Noel so I get at least one Ascension on her. This way I can use her. You need at least one Ascension on the character to make it good. Wow, Nier Day is insane. We get such good luck on Nier Day. Let me know in the comments if you guys get the same luck on Nier Day. This is insane. I hope it's not just me getting this luck. I hope you guys are getting this luck too. I guess mixed with Halloween and Near Day together just means insane luck. That's not lucky though. We definitely don't want the revolver. You can take that back, Near. No, I'm only kidding. You've been so good to me. I'll take a bad weapon here and there. Just don't keep doing it over and over again. I wouldn't be happy about that. I believe we have two more to go and we are going to wrap this one up. Can we get one abstract Noel though? I think we just got another new costume, guys. <laughs> At this point, we're going to have all the abstract costumes that I'm not going to be able to build. They're just going to be sitting in my storage with all my other costumes. But man, you cannot make this stuff up. Okay, so no, we didn't get anything. But I saw something pop on the screen. So I think that means we're getting upgraded from a 3-star to a 4-star if I had to guess. Is that going to be the one? Nope. Okay, so we got a new 3-star and that's why it popped up. So whether it's a 3-star or a 4-star, it will still pop up on the top left-hand side. A new costume is a new costume. It doesn't matter what the rarity is. So that is good to know. I didn't realize that if it's a new costume, no matter what, it pops up on the left-hand side. Here we go. Last one. No silver door. 50-50 chance of getting a purple. There it is. No purple. That's okay. We had such good luck. I will take my two ascensions and walk away from this. Now I'll be able to max out my 2P. That is huge for me. And this is why I tell you guys to save your gems for near day. No matter what you do in the game, save 10,000 gems. This specific case, it ended up being... 20,000 gems and that's just because it's the Halloween holiday most of the time I think it's only going to be one ascension but save a little bit extra just in case I just got super lucky and I was able to unlock two costumes which gave me 6,000 gems which allowed me to finish this off but always save up at least 10 to 15,000 gems every single month so you can get these free ascension books from doing these summons but I want to know what you guys have to say how did your summoning luck go on the near day banner did you get abstract Noel? did you get the fractured prisoner I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, so comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. 
Thank you guys so much for the support here on YouTube. We are so close to 4,000 subs. I mean so close. Once we reach it, we'll start another sub celebration. If you want to follow me on Twitch and Discord, those are always linked down below. We do two monthly giveaways on Discord, random giveaways on Twitch. If you want to be a part of the random giveaway that we do here on YouTube, all you have to do is sub to the channel, like, and comment on my past 10 videos, and that will automatically enter into the random giveaway. I truly do love each and every single one of you. I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace.